What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a few news stories for you and a few questions, so let's go. First story of the day has to do with an issue with Galaxy Note 20 Ultra phones, and it might be some other Galaxy phones as well, like older ones, like a few years ago. They're still getting updates, and it looks like, in at least in India so far, there's a lot of phones that are having this issue where when they get this update, the newest update, it actually messes with the screen and puts all these lines in. So basically, this is what I found on Twitter that says, my dad installed a software update on his Galaxy Note 20 Ultra yesterday at 10:28 p.m. on his on and it says these lines started appearing on the display from today morning. Samsung India, please look into this matter and get it fixed. And it's just like these weird lines, no matter if he restarts it or not, they're always there. And I know he's not the only one. I was reading through some of the tweets on there. There's other people that have the same issue. So be careful if you have this phone. The newest update might mess with the display and put lines through it. It's kind of weird, but um, as if anything develops from it and I hear more about it, I will let you guys know. Next up, some official press renders have come out for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. I'm not gonna show them for you because I know I will get copyright striked because the phone's not even out now or even being announced for another over a month now. But ultimately it is online. You can search for it. It's very easy. It's on mysmartprice.com and you can see it, but it shows little to zero change in terms of physicality of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 versus like even a Z Fold 4. So we've known about that, we've heard about that, but it's just more confirmation that this is going to happen. But basically it's just the phone standing on its side, completely kind of half open. You can see the big display. There's an S Pen below it. And then the back of the phone is showing as well, like as if there's two phones there. So nothing too major, but there are official renders already starting to go out about this phone. Next up has to do with the Pixel Fold orders. If you're part of this, they keep zigzagging back and forth and this way and that way. And we're literally like a, two weeks away from release date, a little less than two weeks a day away from release date. And these orders are still zigzagging and getting pushed back in a lot of instances. So here's mine so far. My 256 gigabyte one, which would be for my wife, Hers was like the 28th through the 5th or something. Now it says July 5th through July 10th. So this is a full week or two um, past actual release date. And then mine, the 512, got moved up a little bit. Now it's saying June 27th through the June 29th time. So I'm kind of glad I got the 512, at least at this instant. I'm happy, but these things are still zigzagging all around. I'm hoping they get it into a point where everyone gets theirs on the actual release date. I just cannot, they might, unless they're having manufacturing issues with this phone or that's the only thing I can think of, or they, I can't imagine they sold more than they thought they were going to sell because the reason I say that is because I don't feel like we'd be zigzagging back and forth with release dates. Cause it's already, we've already ordered these, you know, weeks and months ago. So I don't know. What do you guys think? That'll be your question today. When do you think these pixel fold for you will actually ship? Cause mine, man, I'm hoping that mine ships on time. Cause I want to get these out so I can make some videos for you guys. Let you know my opinion on the phone without further ado, let's jump into our Q and A. Dave asks, hey Greg, do you think the Galaxy Watch 6 will have a curved screen and smaller bezels? I'm not sure if it, it's worth the upgrade. I did hear the battery won't be much better. What are your thoughts? I don't think it's gonna be a huge update. Unless they give like blood sugar monitoring in there, which would be a cool one to have. Or, I, yeah, I don't, honestly, yeah. I mean, I think it's gonna be a little, if I remember correctly, Watch 6 is gonna be, is it bigger? I think it's a little bit bigger now, the display, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's a higher uh, resolution as well. But yeah, probably not much reason to upgrade. Last question from Supersun. If the Fold 5, as expected, has very few upgrades, do you think Samsung's trading program will make up for it? If the Fold 5 is an excellent trading program, would you recommend the Fold 5? I, the more I think about this and think about this, I don't think the Fold 5 will have good trade-in values. I think Samsung's taking this generation of phones off from the S23 with bad trade-in values and the Z Fold 5, I think they're gonna stick with bad trade-in values. I don't think they're doing that well 
with their electronic space in terms of their competition and losing value and the economy not being that great and people not buying upgrades as much. So I think it all factors in together to probably cause an issue where they don't want to lose more money by giving you better trade in offers. So I'm going to say no, they probably won't. But if they do, um, yeah, if you can get, if you're basically paying zero dollars, yeah, sure. Why wouldn't you upgrade to the Fold 5? Otherwise, if you end up paying, you know, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, thousand dollars, I don't think it's worth it. Thanks so much, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.